morning guys why is the lighting weird <laughs> i don't know i don't know you guys so happy whatever day it is <laughs> what day is it it's monday monday guys that's that's like the most dreaded day although I don't dread it as much now that it's summer um, because it's kind of just like any other day if I'm being honest so all of the kids are home today um, Narkees, Zoe and Piper spent all yesterday at the farm with their pop pop And yeah, I didn't get anything done <laughs> like I had wanted to. So I had told you guys last night at the beginning of this vlog, which you should have just seen, how Jack has just been super fussy. If he's awake, he's fussing. And I don't understand, like I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's his tummy, I don't know if it's gas problems, but we're trying to get it figured out. But it's super hard <laughs> as a parent to have just for him to be fussing if he's awake. Um, so today, why is the lighting so bright? I look like I'm in heaven, you guys. What on earth? Let's autocorrect that a little bit. Um, so Nana offered to come over and help today. She should be here any minute, actually. But I am putting Nana on Jack duty. <laughs> and she's just gonna hang out with Jack and take care of him for a little while so that I can work with the girls and Narkees and clean my house. It is so hard when you have a little baby that sleeps only an hour at a time and then is awake for two to three hours and he just wants mama. I hear him back there waking up now actually. Um, and he just wants mama that whole time. So it's like my house has suffered. It is suffering. And I'm like, I've got to dust. I've got to vacuum. I've got to get all of these things done because it's just driving me crazy. Hi, little baby boy. Also, I have been trying to transition Jack into his crib to like nap during the day. Like at night, obviously, he's still in his bassinet in the room with my husband and then I. But um, I really want him to transition to his crib for during the day. That way when he's three months old, he can move into his room for overnight as well. Hi, little buddy. You waking up? Are you waking up? I don't know why the lighting on our camera is so bright. So, he absolutely despises being swaddled. Oh, you're so sleepy. But, shockingly enough, he's tolerating it right now, so. Which is good. He seems happy for the moment, huh? Yeah, he seems happy for the moment. I have come to the realization this morning that I need to buy more cloth diapers. Um, with Piper, I had so many, like I had way too many with her, but I didn't cloth diaper her like full time. And I'm cloth diapering Jack full time, you guys. And I am doing laundry like daily, <laughs> almost daily, because I go through almost our entire stash in like a day and a half. Um, and I have a few like little tiny disposable newborn diapers, um, but they're teeny tiny on him, like they really don't fit him. So I've been kind of using these like to fill in gaps, like when I'm doing wash. But um, I don't want to do that. I want a cloth diaper full time. So I need at least five more diapers, um, which is frustrating because I didn't think I would need any more. He keeps making noises and I keep thinking he's gonna wake up and he, he'll kind of grunt and then just go back to sleep. So we'll see. I'm not gonna intentionally wake him up though. Luckily, he can usually sleep through just about anything. So Piper, a while ago, 
Zoe accidentally broke Piper's snake. And she I like she slammed the head on the floor and the eye popped off, but she taped it on there. So we'll see. It might stay for a little I while. I taped it on there. Yeah, if you're super gentle with it, yeah. Piper, it should stay. Um mommy, you yes, have some tape down there. Um maybe the same snake can I have for Christmas? You we'll make see. it another one. Make it like a green one. You have to ask Santa Claus. I don't know. Christmas is a ways away. And I guess we need some like gorilla duct tape. You mean gorilla glue? Gorilla glue, yeah. I've never heard of gorilla duct um, tape. Can I have a gorilla snack? Glue. Um, sure. What, y'all? Ghost has laid in. Zoe has been drawing on the sidewalk. And Ghost laid in it. Let me get your back. Come here. Come on in. Y'all, if y'all even see, look, he's covered in pink chalk. You doing your nails this morning? No. Just what? What? I woke up at 6.26. You just said that. This one makes sparkles. Yeah, it does, huh? Right there. See, it makes sparkles rainbow. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't mind if you paint your nails. Just don't make a huge mess, okay? <sighs> you guys, so this little guy is, well, he was. He's not asleep. <laughs> He was asleep in the carrier. Um, I have not tried my Ergo carrier yet. I have a newborn, like this thing right here. This is a newborn insert for the Ergo. Um, so I really wanted to try him in it to see if there was another option for me to like walk around the house and still be holding him and be able to get things done. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty reliable source. What do you need? But I think it's going to be a helpful resource for me. I still have the, the tag on it, but he seems content. Even though he's sleeping now. Little baby. Even though I actually need to get him out now because I have to start getting the other kids ready to go to Zoe's art class. So, always something, guys. Get it, ghost. Ghost is in. Look at my ball. I got a ball. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ghost is not really great at playing fetch. He like goes and gets it and then he just runs back, but he doesn't bring the item back to us. <laughs> it's like a challenge. He's so funny. Okay, so boys are in bed and girls wanted to catch some fireflies. So Piper has the jar. It's still a little light out here, although it's way darker than it looks on camera, but huh? um, we are going. How light does it look? Oh, oh wow, it's let me super see. bright let on me camera. See. It looks like it's like the middle of the day on the camera. All right. Ew. So. We shall be looking for the fireflies. Hey guys, so I thought we would close out the vlog by doing a Q&A. I meant to do this like today and I just didn't get to it um, because I forgot that I asked for a Q&A until I went to my uh, page and saw that you guys have asked a ton of awesome questions. I have not actually read any of the questions, but I've got, I've got my husband here who's super thrilled that I want to put him on camera at 11 o'clock at night. My inner Eeyore is coming out. His inner Eeyore is coming out, guys. Actually, I guess I'm like Eeyore He's all the time. He's melancholy. According to a lot of our viewers, you are like Eeyore. <laughs> He's really not, though. Look, all I gotta say is people keep knocking down my house. Wouldn't you be mad? Knocking down your house. Look at our kitchen. What? The whole thing fell through. <laughs> because of water damage from the old lady. Oh. It's like Eeyore when it rains and his house falls on him. Yeah, that's true. That's one <laughs> of the reasons. I think that's actually one of the questions is when are we moving? Um, it's going to be a while. We still have to like fix up this house and everything. But 
uh, in a year, our plan is to start looking, start the process of looking. So we'll be in this house at least one more year. <clears throat> Unless like we win the lottery, but that's not gonna happen, so. Somebody won this weekend, $404 million. Really? Yeah. Wow. What me. <sighs> Oh, okay. I didn't understand this question. So Cindy asked, how is it with newborn baby Jack? Easy and hard. <laughs> how is it with Jack? He's easier than Piper. Not he as is. easy as Zoe. He is. So Zoe was our first. Zoe was such an easy baby. I mean, she like set the bar really high with in terms of babies. Like she was just awesome. Um, Piper was extremely difficult. I think all Piper did the first like... Four or five Six years of her life. I mean, really, though, it was many years, <laughs> many first years of her life. All she, it felt like she did was cry. I can't talk tonight. Um, she was a very, very fussy child. She had a lot of gastrointestinal problems, though, so I think that is what the issue was. Um, and we didn't really figure any of that out, and she wasn't like we didn't have a doctor tell us anything about it till she was older, so. That's what it was with her, but Jack is kind of in in between. You know, he has his fussy moments, but mostly he's a very good baby. You can't really be bad though when you're a baby. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's not over in there spanking him. I know, right? <laughs> like, we, you're he's... thirty, told you should be walking. <laughs> Babies are totally innocent. There, there is no such thing as a bad baby. So, okay, let's see. Megan, will the boys ever resume therapy? Um, they do receive therapy through like the public school system. Um, and yes, they will resume therapy, hopefully in August, once we get them back on proper insurance. Anything to add? Yes, they will resume therapy. Um, I mean... They never really technically stopped therapy, but no, I mean... I mean they, it's just we got the therapy stuff at home we do now. Yeah, it was just at home therapy. Just, and as far as price stuff goes... It was $30 a session, one session an hour. They wanted three-hour sessions a day for each of them. So oh, nine, it's 180 bucks three times a week, every week. It so. was more than that. It was 80 a session, and they had speech, physical, and occupational at this place twice a week. So eighty uh -huh. that's like 80 times six every week, whatever the heck mm. that would be. I just know what our insurance covered. Yeah. So. It's. It was not affordable by any normal person. <laughs> I will say that. Um, unless you have really good insurance. Um, let's see. Danielle, could we have a house tour or a kids room tour? I love your family. Oh, thanks, Danielle. Um, could I get a shout out, please? Yes, Danielle. Shout out. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If they ever clean their rooms, sure. We'll do a kids room tour. Yeah. Um <laughs> That's their responsibility. Yeah, I mean, even Narkees has to clean his own room, so... He actually um, does a better job than Piper and Zoe. He does, actually. Because his room, he doesn't let his room get that messy, though. The only thing he can't do is make his bed, but, you know. He, he tries, though. He does try. He Zoe tries. and Piper just kind of stuff their things oh, in the hole under the stairs on their bed. I told them to clean their room today. When I put them to bed, I, like, looked under their bed, and Zoe had stuffed all of the stuffed animals and clothes under her bed. Well, I mean, technically, the room is clean. It's it is clean. Room. She just stuffed everything under the bed. <laughs> um, let's see. Sarah asks, how has Aiden been doing, doing, and if he ever starts talking a whole lot more... Wait. Read that sentence. How has Aiden been doing? And if he ever starts talking a whole lot more, if he were able to be potty trained, would you do so? Yes, because I'm tired of changing diapers. Oh, of course. You guys, we have tried since this child has been home to potty train him. It is not like we've just been like, oh, whatever. We're just going to leave him in diapers. No, <laughs> we have tried. Um, it's just kind of been a futile effort um, because his communication is so lacking. Like, he can't tell us when he needs to go to the bathroom. Um... But that he is, slaps his butt when he poops. He does, and he says "caca" when he poops too. So, like he white. will, he will come and get me and say "caca, caca," and ask to be changed. Basically, so it's like he understands. Like the understanding part is there, um, but that is one of his benchmark goals this upcoming school year for sure. They're going to work on that at school as well. Annie <laughs> asks, "Do you think you will adopt more kids?" Um, as it stands right now. 
I personally, I'm not going to speak for my husband, but I personally don't feel like we will adopt again, but we really want to host um, children from Ukraine or even China, like other countries, um, for the summer, for Christmases, whatever. We re would really like to advocate for them and help them to find adoptive families. Is that kind of how you feel? Yeah, they're, the odds of adoption are very, very low because we can do more in other ways, like fund other people's adoptions mm -hmm. now. So Plus, I have a house full and they don't make houses bigger. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I have to buy the Duggars house. Plus, you've got to think, you guys, we have five kids. So at some point, you have enough kids that you have to think like financially, emotionally, what is best for my family. And we feel like our family is complete in that sense. Um, let's see, Angie asks, do your girls have some special needs too and what are they? Will the boys be able to live independently with assistance? What are the boys' cognitive levels? How has teenage old going, how has being a teenager going with Narkees? I love your vlogs. I have Asperger's syndrome and I feel like I can really relate to you pretty easily. Um, okay, so a lot of questions in one. That's okay. Um, do your girls have some special needs too? We get this question all the time, especially people ask about Piper, I think because she's so... She's tricky. She hides everything. Like She is. Most of the time y'all see her, she's just like, <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But no, she's tricky. She She understands a lot more than she lets on. Um, so no, they don't have any. No, um, they're, they don't have special needs that, they don't have special needs that I consider special needs. Mm -hmm. Zoe has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. She has been officially diagnosed with that. Um, but it doesn't affect her really behavior wise. It's more focus wise, like in school, like with her schoolwork. But I don't consider that a special need because she's totally capable and smart and, we don't notice it. I mean, really, like it was just affecting our schoolwork. Mm -hmm. That was basically it. And Piper does not have any special needs other than being super goofy and silly. <laughs> That's not a special need though. Um, let's see. Catherine asks, how did the kids get their names? Is there a story behind any of them? Um, Zoe got her name from the stained song, Zoe Jane. Mm -hmm. Um, we would have made her middle name Jane, but that's a family member's name on my side. I'm not going to be mean, but it's a family member's name on my side. I was pretending to be that... a cat. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. He was, he was being a cat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so we, we decided not to go with the name Jane for personal reasons. Um, but my, um, uh, my childhood favorite princess was always princess aurora and i've always just loved that name so we made zoe's middle name aurora um so that is where zoe's name came from piper literally that's the only name we could agree on if she changed the name again it would have been wolverine <laughs> like it, we just couldn't agree on a name for piper and then we found piper and we were both like oh yeah we like that um and her middle name is Paige, which is my best friend jen's middle name so that's where that came from narkees and aiden we did not name them um they were named by the missionaries who took care of them in the Narkees orphanage Narkees named himself narkees narkees kept his name his ukrainian name like his birth given ukrainian name um so we did not name narkees Everyone asks, like, where did you think of the name Narkees? Uh, we didn't. <laughs> we changed the spelling, though. Otherwise, everybody would have called him Narcus. Yeah, Narcus. If we just straight transliterated, it would have been N-A-R-C-I-S. Transliterated? Yes, that is a word. Oh. <laughs> I'll just look like an idiot then. That didn't sound like a word to me. Um, yeah, so... We had the missionaries that spent time with them, like in the orphanage, name them. Um, Narkees' name was going to be Matthew when we adopted him. Like, that was going to be his name. But he didn't want his name changed, so we made Matthew his middle name. Um, and Aiden Josiah was named by another missionary who loved Aiden and took care of him. So, and both first and middle name were named by her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's where they got their names. Um, and then, what other kids do we have? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that's obvious we've done that one before yeah. yeah and then jack got his name from um my husband's papa um 
yeah, your papa. So his great grandfather, he's named after his great grandfather, whom we love very much. And his middle name, Albert, is both Ace's middle name and his dad's name. And then Wesley is was my dad's middle name. So he's just named after family members, um, which I think makes his name a lot more special. Um, let's see, I don't Somebody's gonna go more special than who? <laughs> I don't want this DNA to go on forever. I read every one of your comments, by the way, so when you're being the, the only reason I don't respond to a lot of them is because I have no chill. He, he can't be nice, basically, is what it is. I have no chill. He can't be nice. If you need chill, you get it from the refrigerator. <laughs> um, let's see here. Which of the kids would you say hangs out most with Ada? And this is Sandra's question. I would say Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Piper's been doing it a lot, too. Yeah, Piper's Piper been has been around a lot lately. Like, they both get to making noise making things, and then they start mm -hmm. laughing, and then we have to stop it because it's incessant. <laughs> yeah. They've both been playing with Aiden a lot lately, and I kind of love it. Um, and Piper and Narkees are best friends. Like, they are always playing together. So, definitely Piper and Narkees have been a pair lately. Um, will Aiden and Narkees ever be in the same school and in the same class? Yes, this upcoming school year they will be in the same school and the same class. Probably the only year. Yeah, because Narkees will move to a different school after this upcoming year. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find one that I haven't at answered like a ton. Are they going, you, you left out Angie's other half of her oh, question. Oh, I, I don't think it was a question. I Will they be was... able to be on their own with assistance? It's the last half. See, I pay attention. Where do you see that question? It was back up at the very top. Oh, I didn't finish answering her question. Anji, Anji. I got you. Girl, I didn't finish answering your question. Props to Asa, he caught it, because I just, I answered the first one and not the other ones. Um, will the boys ever be able to live independently with assistance? We hope so. Um, I think they will, absolutely. Um, I'm more worried for Aiden than I am Narkees, for obvious reasons, but Narkees for sure. I even think Narkees will have a job one day, and, yeah. you know, I, I really, I think he'll do vocational training and something. Like, I really think he's going to go places in life. Um, and I think Aiden ha absolutely has the ability to go places as well. It's a matter of finding Aiden's motivation. Motivation, exactly. Because he's smart. Y'all, Aiden understands everything we say to him. We say, Aiden, come here. We say, Aiden, take off your shirt. Or, Aiden, come get this. And dress yourself. Yeah, get, or get yourself dressed. Or turn on the bath water. Like, he knows what we're saying. There is no doubt that I, I know he understands us 100%. Um, it's just a matter of getting him properly motivated. Sound like you've got the cruise. I'm a fish. What? Linda says, my daughter Macy is 11 and listens to your YouTube videos all the time. She is blind and loves learning about things she has in common with Aiden and Narkees. Oh, that's sweet. I'm so glad that she enjoys the video. Let's see. My ma, what, how do you say that? Maher? 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 Mayor? Mayor? Mayor asks, if you could go to any country in the world, where would you go? Obviously, we would love to go back to Ukraine. Ireland, Italy, for me. I'm speaking for me. Mm. Belize. I would love to go to Belize. Let's speak English there. You can, you'll be all right there. <laughs> Pick one. I'll go anywhere. Yeah, we definitely have the travel bug. We would love to travel. Um, it's just a matter of finding a way to tote children or find a babysitter or find money to travel. <laughs> Traveling's not a cheap hobby. And you're looking $600 one way? I mean, minimum. It's, it's not a cheap thing to do. Um, a ticket. Worth it. Worth it in every way, but not cheap. Um, let's see. That's one thing we don't get the benefit of living in the U.S. versus Europe. You can drive to all these different countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't. 
We'll see, Sandra asks, you mentioned a few weeks ago that Aiden would need a feeding tube in the near future. Do you know yet when that will be done? Um, I actually don't have the appointment yet with his gastrointestinal doctor. His pediatrician tried to get the appointment. However, our like the our local, I guess, gastroenterologist do does not specialize in Aiden's specific disorder. So they're having to refer us either up to Nashville or down to Birmingham at UAB. Um, to, I prefer Nashville. Yeah, me too. Vanderbilt would be much better. Yeah, to see see him so and they're really backed up like it's not easy to get an appointment with them so that is going to happen uh, in terms of a feeding tube I'm not sure that's an option that we will need anymore he lately he's been eating a lot better um, so we'll see we'll just have to see what the doctor says about that but yes that will be happening um, Becky asked if you could spend a day with a famous or historical person, dead or alive, who would it be? Why don't you go first? Oh, sorry. I don't know. That's why I pointed it to you. Because I have no idea. Um, famous person, dead or alive. Does it have to be a famous person? Because I'd love to just spend some time with my dad again, honestly. But he wasn't famous. What would yours be? Hannibal. Hannibal? Not Lecter. That's a movie. Oh, okay. I was like, that. you know that's I, I, not a real I, person, I, I right? I could have said just Anthony Hopkins if I wanted him. No. I don't know who that is. <sighs> Carthaginian general that brought Rome to its knees. Oh. Marched elephants over the Alps. How you get an elephant to walk up a mountain? Maybe it'd motivate me because I'm about the same size. <laughs> Oh, I'd like to talk to the Egyptians and see how the heck they built those pyramids. What are you talking about? They used emojis. Look at their walls. They used emojis. <laughs> yeah. They're called hieroglyphics, actually. Same Perhaps. difference. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. There's so many questions. Um, I wish I, by the way, I wish I could answer all of these. It's just, I would be sitting here for like an hour if we answered all of them. And I think this is already pretty lengthy. Maria asks, why is Keys never in his stander? Oh, oh wow, this is a, mm, this is some, Maria, girl. <laughs> why is Keys never in his stander? Why is Keys almost always on the floor? Why are Keys' only toys a bag of old blocks and a box of old crayons? Well, they're, they're new blocks. <laughs> they're Sorry. new crayons. I'm laughing. He's never in his stander because you don't have to put him in it, do you? Uh, you no. don't have to fight him. Uh, excuse me. He's in his stander a lot. I just don't film it when he's in a stander because it takes... It's a cry fest. Yeah, like he fusses. Mama, mama, it hurts. No, it doesn't. You're pulling up with your arms. You're not even standing. Yeah. Then he'll, then he'll stop crying. And then he, as soon as you walk out of the room, he starts crying again. Yeah. He the, doesn't move in it. The stander is um, therapy for him. So... Narkees fights therapy. He fights being stretched. And he did this when he went to therapy. Like, that's just what he does. So I'm not going to film him when he's fussing and kind of argue, being argumentative. Let's see. Uh, la, la, la. Why is Keys almost always on the floor? It's his choice. Because he wants to be on the floor. He likes it. Um, it makes him feel independent. He can. He just likes to crawl around on the floor. Um, we have a wheelchair up here for him. He gets out of it and crawls. That is his choice. Yeah. I don't strap him in. She doesn't strap him in. We don't say, this is where you're limited. We let the kids choose. You have to keep in mind, too, for the first 10 years of Narkees' life, he was forced to stay in a wheelchair. I mean, they would strap him to the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Um hours and hours a day the only time he was not in his wheelchair in the orphanage was at night when they would put him in bed or when they would take him to the toilet like that was it um or so it's not surprising that he has no interest in being in his wheelchair like he does not want to be in his wheelchair if he doesn't have to be and we respect that that's totally fine with us um, we want him to have freedom we want him to have choices we want him to be able to move about how he chooses we have mobility freedom our girls have the freedom to move about the house how they however they choose Narkees has that same privilege so that's my answer to that um, why are Keys' only toys a bag of blocks and a box of old crayons? Should we show him the closet downstairs? Those are not his only toys. <laughs> Those are the toys we keep upstairs. Um, he has tons... Golly, have you guys seen our toy closet? Have you seen it? 
because it's like exploding. Um, he has a ton of toys. Um, the blocks are upstairs because that's his favorite. That's he likes to build things. What he prefers. Um, and the crayons are also his favorite. So all of our kids have two toys that they bring upstairs that they choose that are their favorites. Narkees's is crayons and blocks. Zoe's is, I think, two Barbie dolls. Piper's is two stuffed animals. Those are the toys they're allowed to keep upstairs at all times. Um, the rest of the toys have to be taken to and from the toy closet. Um, he also, Narkees enjoys puzzles too. He'll do puzzles. The ones with the sounds. Yeah, he does puzzles too. I mean, he does a ton of stuff. Um, what you see is not always, I don't know how to explain it. What you perceive to be the truth is not always the truth. So don't be so quick to judge. Did I answer the other one? Why is he never in a stander? Oh yeah, he's in a stander all the time. Usually when at least. When we're cooking. Yeah, usually like an hour a day. Yeah, when we're cooking meals, he's in a stander like watching. He doesn't fuss when he's watching us cook meals, which is how we know he's totally faking it when he does fuss. Because <laughs> he, he doesn't fuss when we're, he's like doing stuff. Um, last one. You pick the last one. Okay, so this is going to be our last question. Ashley asks... I just have a couple of questions. Here's my first question. Why can't people ask nice questions? <laughs> I feel that some of these questions on here are a little bit rude. Or a little bit on the rude side. Also, did you hear anything else about Aiden being qualified for the blind school? Just curious. Um, people are going to be rude, you guys. We put our lives on the internet. People are going to be rude. <laughs> I don't care if you ask rude questions. Yeah, I know. Mean, it doesn't bother me at all. Just don't be, don't, you better not get offended when I answer and be like, well, that that's a stupid question. Don't, this is the reason why. Is you got a problem with it, deal with it. Yeah, I feel don't, like. Don't, don't be mad when you were trying to provoke a reaction. Exactly. And, I mean, I could I could give you all sorts of reactions. You, oh, I'm gonna downvote. What, what do you thumb downvote, thumb thumbs, fist, thumbs whatever down, you do? Thumbs well, I don't down. Know. Um, a lot of people. The problem isn't rude questions because people are gonna have their opinions. Obviously, um, the problem is that people are definitely trying to provoke something, or they're trying to make us angry, or they're trying to say something negative. I don't know. They're just trying to cause hate. Um, you have to remember that honesty without tact is cruelty. Um, and the way you say something matters. So if you have an opinion, that's fine. If you don't like the way we parent, that's fine. If you don't agree with how, with Narky is playing with his toys on the floor, even though it's his choice, that's fine. Um, but you have to understand that we're going to have our reasons and you can accept it or you cannot. But at the end of the day, opinions don't affect us because we're just doing our own thing. I'm willing to bet some of the questions y'all say in comments you make, you wouldn't say in person. But oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's, that's for the sure. way I've lived my life. If I won't say it to your face, I won't say it. Exactly. Y'all, I never comment on YouTube videos and I'm rude and nasty. And okay, I will take that back. I have probably acted not very gracefully in terms of responding to certain people on my own videos um and i'm trying to get better at that um but i will never go on someone else's videos and comment and say nasty things and why 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 would you want to bring somebody down i don't understand it's like beyond me um oh, let's see what was the other part of the question did aiden qualify for the blind school did you have something to add hmm my wife i said from true blood you do you, boo. I do me. You do you, boo. I'll do me. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. And Ashley also asked, did Aiden qualify for the blind school? We decided not to send him to the blind school right now. Um, I We thought a lot about it. We prayed about it. And it's just not the right timing for him. Um, he has a lot of things that need to happen emotionally. He's got a lot of things he needs to learn before he's in an environment that is away from home for extended periods of time. Um, it I is need to refer back to the potty training, right? He's not potty trained. You guys like he has a lot of goals that he needs to meet before we try to send him to the school. Um, so I think the school is while it is a goal for sure. I think it's still a few years out for Aiden, um, because he's just, he's just not ready. Um, and that is just what we decided. So anyway, his mental age is 
probably 14 months, I yeah, would say. 12 to 14 months. So, although his understanding and reasoning is probably somewhere around three, 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 four, maybe four, yeah. Four understanding, three being able to understand cause and effect and consequence, uh, Narkey's mental ability, two, three. Yeah. His ability to understand, probably three, four. His, uh, I don't know, I, I might put that at a five. I might put him at five. Yeah. Because that, that's the reason him and Piper started getting along so well is because they can... They're at the same mental age. Yeah. Like, they're more at the same mental age. I mean, Piper knows more than Narkees academically, but, I mean, emotionally, they like the same things. They play the same games. You know, they're just kind of on that same level. Um, where were we going with this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, anyway, would you send your... You know, you wouldn't send your 12 to 14 month off to school, you know, and be like, bye, honey, see you later. Um, so... We don't think that a residential school is right for Aiden right now. Um, and that is just what we have decided. Um, and he may even do part-time at public school this year, depending on how he does. He has the option of doing two to three days a week, or he can go full-time, which is five days a week, which is what we're hoping he will do. But it's nice that if he won't tolerate that, then it's an option. Yeah, personally, he needs to go five days a week because guess what? I have to go to work five days a week. Mm-hmm. What if I don't want to tolerate that? Well, and it's good for him to get into a routine, too. And what we've been discussing with his soon-to-be teacher is he could start out at part-time and then ease into full-time um, since he's been so used to being home with mom. So we'll see. There's options. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for That's watching. Cool right there. If that. you stuck... What is that? It's a lamp. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at that lamp. That. Uh, they can see it. It's like a person lamp <laughs> yeah. anyway if you guys stuck around to the end and if you sat through this Q&A that is awesome give the video a big thumbs up um, if you sat through the Q&A what's a word they can say in the comments so I'll know that they sat through it say Cheetos <laughs> I really want Cheetos right now. Um, so if you sat through the Q&A all the way to the end, comment below, say Cheetos with a bunch of exclamation points, and I'll know that you watched the whole Q&A. Because um, I know a lot of people kind of cut out of the video early. <laughs> so I'd like to know who... Cheetos? Cheetos! I would love some Cheetos right now. Not the puffy kind, like the the cheese curl, like the, the, the real Cheetos. Okay. What, are, what are those called? Those are called Cheetos. Um, yeah. What are the puffy ones? They're just called Cheeto puffs? Cheeto puffs, not the Cheeto puffs. Oh, yeah. You, 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 you grew up in all that uh, that money household that you got the Cheeto puffs. I got the I the Walmart get... off brand back deal. Had to buy it from the guy behind the dumpster stuff. We get they just called puffs with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> ever y'all my mom was a health freak and she rarely ever even bought like potato chips like i remember one time at the grocery store i convinced her to buy those little debbie snack cakes with like the white swirl the chocolate with the white swirl on it and she bought fat free and then she would only let me eat half of one a day it was ridiculous anyway we'll talk to you guys tomorrow we hope you guys are all doing awesome don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you are new and we will talk to you guys tomorrow and don't forget always live to inspire bye guys